Not too long ago, I was scrolling through my television looking for something to watch. And I came across a show that captured my attention. It was a show that was a behind the scenes look at cruise ships. How many of you have ever been on a cruise ship? Let me see. Aren't they fantastic? I mean, they are remarkable. Well, this show took viewers uh, on a behind the scenes tour of a cruise ship, places we'd never otherwise get to go. Uh, for example, this show showed us what happens on the, uh, on the bridge, what the person driving the boat, what all they do. Uh, showed us the kitchens where they prepare all the food. Uh, it went into how on, on the day that they are going to leave port, there is all of this food that has to be loaded into the bottom of this ship, into these refrigerators that are like warehouses. I mean, it's enormous where they store the food. Uh, they shared some stats that I just found to be fascinating. This, this cruise ship that they were going behind the scenes on held 5,000 guest passengers plus crew. And it went on seven day cruises. And they shared with the viewing audience some things that they needed for a cruise like that. For example, in one week, those 5,000 passengers would go through 70,000 eggs. That's a, lot, that's a lot of eggs. They'd go, they would eat 15 tons of meat and 47 tons of fruits and vegetables. Uh, that's a little healthy for my taste. That's, such a, that's a lot more fruits and vegetables than meat, but whatever. This cruise ship in seven days would go through 1,000 tons of fuel. Not 1,000 gallons, 1,000 tons of fuel. You talk about crying at the gas pump. 1,000 tons of fuel. They, they, they showed in the bottom of this cruise ship, there was this massive engine and these generators because the engine and generators have to provide enough power for this floating city for a week. They described how that engine and those generators would generate enough power to power over 50,000 homes. I mean, it's incredible, extraordinary what this cruise ship was capable of. But in about midway through the documentary, the person narrating this presented a massive challenge and he posed it as a question. Here's what he said, something like this. How is it that a cruise ship serving and accommodating over 5,000 guests a week, how is it that it provides enough fresh water for them for seven days? Now think about that. 5,000 people taking showers prayerfully, uh, <laughs> eating food that required water, water to drink, Think about the amount of fresh water that would have to be on board that ship to be able to serve 5,000 people for an entire week. And the narrator said, how on earth can a cruise ship overcome such an overwhelming challenge? Well, there was an answer, as you might imagine. Apparently, the cruise industry has come up with an ingenious solution to this problem. In the bottom of this cruise ship was a desalinization plant, a plant that could take ocean water from outside the cruise ship and make it into drinkable, pure water. That solution solved the problem because a cruise ship, in case you didn't notice, is in the ocean. And when it's in the ocean, if it can use that ocean water to solve its biggest problem, it has more than enough resources than it needs. By now, we all know that life presents to us overwhelming challenges. Life often presents to us situations that seem to be impossible. Life has, a, life has a funny way 
of reminding us time and time again that life is bigger than we are. It reminds us that after all, we are not really in control of this thing called life to a large degree. We are faced with relational challenges that sometimes seem to be overwhelming. Sometimes we're faced with financial challenges that we just can't see a way to to handle. We're faced with other challenges in life that we just simply can't seem to get our heads around. But those of us who are in Christ have access to more than enough. Just as a cruise ship that finds itself in the ocean has more than enough resources to overcome its biggest challenge, those of us who are in Christ have access to more than enough resource to meet whatever life might throw our way. This is obviously one of the themes that we find over and over and over again in Scripture. In a lot of your life's most challenging times, We have access in Christ to more than enough, more than we need. Thank you for watching this video on First Redeemer's YouTube channel. If you enjoyed it, click like below and leave us a comment. And if you'd like more content like this, click subscribe and turn on your notifications. Thanks again for watching.